Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with a little test pour. I'm actually going to test with these beautiful colours. Um, if you fill a plastic bag with water, will it give you a nice um, floral effect or an effect like the balloon kissing does? So that's my actual test for today is seeing if a bag full of water um, can give a nice effect so of course it could be a complete disaster and a wash out my canvas completely so this is a lovely 50 by 50 square canvas oh i think it no it might be 30 by 30 it doesn't look like my 50 by 50 um and i've got it on my spinner so obviously look how nice and easy it is to get around sort of navigate your canvas when you've got it on a spinner now this color is a custom color that i made up and it's it kind of looks like a spearmint i guess but it is beautiful i think i used my um viridian green but mostly white with a good dash of viridian green so now i'm going to start i'm going to start doing puddles oh there you go having a, a gooby bit land on there this one is my magenta so i'm literally going to do these puddles in the colors and um and then i'll show you how i've constructed my plastic bag So that is the navy that I'm putting in there and I'm just um, like you see just doing these puddles with the colours that I want my kind of botanical effects to be. So putting that magenta in first should be like the outside colour of my floral effect. Now this is one of my favourites, I call it my champagne gold which it's custom made 50% metallic gold and 50% silver makes this gorgeous, gorgeous minky gold colour. I just love it, really love it. That was my, it's kind of a, a grey white. It was white with, I just added a good squirt of metallic silver in the white. So it's like a very pale grey, I guess, but it's got a shimmer because it's got metallic silver in it. And now I'm adding a nice a bright yellow to the mix. Kind of looks like your um, fried eggs coming up. But I'm um, really, really hoping that this particular test is a goodie for sure. So I'll show you. I just got a normal plastic bag. And what I did is I put an elastic band around the actual bottom and turned it inside out before I filled it. So it would kind of create a pursed lip effect underneath. Um, then I've put um, water in it. I'm not sure if I put an elastic band around the top or I'm just gripping it there, but um, he's just pressing it in. I'm sort of uh, not real happy with that effect, but it is a different kind of effect to what um, a balloon is, I guess. So I sort of pushed on with it for a little bit. And you tell me what you guys think do you think that this is you know um, a good effect other than a balloon it gives a kind of different uh, pattern on your canvas than a balloon but i'm certainly going to come in after with my balloon and um, try and make a better shape of these little floaty guys here
Rightio, here I come with my uh, magic art balloon. I still absolutely much prefer the balloon when you're working on a canvas. Maybe that um, water bag effect might work better when I do it on a art board, maybe. I will try that, but look at that. Cannot believe a beach your balloon for a tool for making kind of um, flower effects. I mean, they definitely look like pansies. Is it pansies that look like that? Very similar. I mean, they look as though somebody's been painting them for hours, look, and all it is is the simple old balloon. I do love it. I love these colours together, and I think this one's coming along nicely. It would be a nice little gift for someone. So what do you guys think? The bag or the balloon? The bag or the balloon, or I've got the balloon in the bag. Um, I suppose a bit of them both worked quite well. But you let me know what you think. It's um, interesting anyway, doing something different again. Whizzing over it at the minute with my heat wand. It just um, gets rid of a few of the air bubbles. And uh, and now I'm going. That's just a normal size balloon, but I put it over the end of my cold water t tap and run some water in it and have tied off the top. It just gives it that little bit of extra weight to be able to push it into the canvas and get that extra little petal effects in the center there. I'm really happy with that one. Very happy, love the colors, happy Jane. And what does she do here? I'm, I, I'm thinking at this time, oh, maybe it'll look nice with some like stem effects or maybe like a ribbon effect as though they're balloons, but um, I think I should have kept my paintbrush off this one. Um, I'll let you be the judge of it. No, no, no. Shouldn't have done that, should I? So I'm there busy trying to get rid of those squiggly lines. I just left a few and corrected it. Um, and that will be absolutely fine. Nice little gift there for sure. So, um, yeah. If I'd have uh, maybe done the lines differently or the squiggly bits a bit different. But anyway, that's my bit for today. Bye for now.